YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I'd like to talk to you about uh, chroma keying and how to chroma key in uh, different softwares. In this case, I would like to talk to you about the Movavi video editor because uh, that's the software I use for video editing for my YouTube videos and I think that this video editor is more than enough for my workflow and um, I think that most of the time for most of us a video editor like this it will be enough you know and um, uh, this Movavi video editor if you never heard about it uh, it's kind of the same like the Corel video editor or the Pinnacle video studio or um, the on this level roughly approximately so um, I know there are many video editors out there and it might be a little bit, little bit confusing but uh, most of the time the chroma keying it will be the same like in this video editor so the procedure what you do it will be kind of the same it might be some uh, different place you know in the menu system where you have to find the chroma keying uh, but uh, in the same time I think that it's uh, kind of the same so uh, I, I think it's better if we get into my computer and I show you in my computer actually how to how to do it and uh, uh, what's what are the the settings the optimal settings for me the example what I use and why do I use like that so maybe you can learn something from it so let's get into my computer and uh, let's see uh, how do I do it so we are in my computer now and uh, let's open up Movavi video editor and uh, as you can see over here here we have the timeline and uh, let's get some files in it and let's do some chroma keying so first of all i will bring uh, a background into the editor this is a png background now as you can see over here the background is not the same size like 16 by 9 you know how the settings are in here uh, oh yes and uh, you can as you can see over here you can uh, change the project settings and uh, in this case let's uh, let's do it 4k ultra hd and uh, 30 frames a second that's it so if i want to um, uh, the background you know to be 16 by 9 i have to crop and then uh, it will cover the whole frame so i will cut i will crop a little bit as you can see over here the program will cut uh, will crop automatically sorry that's okay so we hit apply and as you can see over here now it covers the whole frame okay so uh, let's get in some footage Oh, sorry. Now we place this footage over the background. And as you can see over here, when you place this footage over the background, the program will automatically open another track for video. Because normally when you get in, you have only one track for video and one for audio. But when you place another uh, another uh, footage over the background, you will see that uh, the program automatically opens another track. Now, uh, let's uh, cut this where it actually begins. So it begins here. Okay. And now we have to uh, we have to arrange the the footage to be kind of okay here. So what I do, I will double click on it. And just pull up like that at the moment we just pull 100% to cover you know and then after that when we do the chroma key we will arrange it you know and now we get down here oh the the, the chroma key actually you will you will see here you see this uh, clip properties and uh, you will find in this menu the chroma keying and you can see down here there there are all these uh, the, a kind of a menu system and you can set the color adjustments crop and rotate pan and zoom chroma key highlight and conceal stabilization slow motion all this you will find here 
But in the same time, you can find also uh, the chroma keying. You can find also here if you go. You can see over here chroma key. But uh, let's go now and hit chroma key. Now you see you have this window here. Uh, you, you are you are able to do some settings over here. Now the tolerance. Usually, what I do first of all, you have to click over here somewhere close to you to take the sample. So the, if 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 this is yellow, the box is yellow. It means that the program expecting you to take the sample. If you move this, you see the yellow. It's gone. Then the program will supposedly put the the chroma key color what he thinks that you are using. Now usually what I do is better if it's like that. What the best to do is to click on this green box and it will become yellow and then to, to take the sample from here. Usually I take the sample the closest from me. And as you can see, when you take the sample, the program is doing a much better job like before because it actually took the actual color I used with my green screen. So uh, now let's see what kind of uh, settings I use over here with the tolerance, noise, edges, opacity. Now, the tolerance usually uh, I use a 90, 90 over here, 90 percent or 90, let's say. And as you can see on 90, if you see the table over here, the table is brown. As I go down with the tolerance, the table becomes greener, you see. Just look at the table. You see the table, it becomes kind of greenish because why is that? Because uh, I use the lights, you know, to to uh, to light up the green screen behind me and also to light myself, you know, video lights and uh, uh, steel lights. So what it, the problem is that the green color from the green screen will reflect on the table. So that's why the table is kind of greenish color. But if I bring up the tolerance to 90 percent, the greenish color it disappearing and you can see the brown color of the table. Now this is the normal color of the table. Now when we get to the to the noise, usually I don't really put any noise reduction over here, but you can. It's it's um, it's actually up to you. You have to check, you know, when you edit your videos, you have to check how it's it depends what kind of camera you are using. It depends on a lot of things. But uh, you can just simply check by clicking, you know, and adding some noise reduction and then you check, you know, how the footage it looks like. Usually I don't apply, maybe I apply 10% or something like that and that's it. Now edges. The edges, it, it will mean that uh, the edges over here everywhere, it will be sharper. Or if you leave it on the, on the close to one or zero, the edges will be a little bit softer. Now, again, this, it depends on you. It depends how you want. Usually I leave it on one or two. I don't really put higher than one or two because uh, the effect, it will be pretty bad if you put up than uh, up uh, higher than two. If you, if you see over here, if I move up to 10, let's say, you can see over here that the edges, when I, when I leave, just one second, I just uh, get this. Yeah, today I just stop the uh, audio and you can see over here that because of the edges you see on, on this side where the light was not enough look all this this black noise you see so if I take off the edges now you see just I take off the edges I go down you see that that black noise is disappearing slowly slowly you see because the sensitivity of the of the footage is different. Look, I, I go down, usually I go down to two or one and the noise is completely gone. As you can see over here, look, it's, it's, there's, there's almost no noise over there. Now the opacity, the opacity usually I leave at 10. Oh, sorry, I, the, the background just finished. So the opacity usually I leave at 10. But again, over here, you can change. You can go down. Uh, sometimes I go down to six, seven. It depends. You, you have to try. You have to uh, uh, experiment a little bit how, how it looks better. You know, what's, what's better for you. And if you see, like, I see now over here that six is, is it looks very good. So I hit uh, when I'm ready with this and I think it's okay. 
I hit apply. But this, don't forget, this you can change whenever you want. You just click on Chroma key, you come back, you can change whatever you like and just click apply and that's it. So now we did this, we are okay with the Chroma keying. Now what I do usually, I apply a little bit of sharpening, just a little bit, not too much, sharpen low. This is a filter, which I pull this filter up on this footage. And uh, you can see over here that the sharpness changed. Now, in the same time, don't forget that what you see over here in this little screen, this is not the quality what you will get when you uh, render the file. This is, this is very bad quality. I mean, don't even bother to check the, the, this quality because it's, it's, uh, it's not the one you will get. What you will get is completely different. So when you render the file, then you will see the quality. This is just a kind of um, an example of the shot what you will get, but it's not accurate. So the, this, the, the quality will be hugely better when you render the file. Okay, now let's go back and uh, let's uh, arrange this footage because as you can see, I am just in the front of the screen. So what we want to do, we have to crop the file because as you can see, you, you see the light over here in the corner. So you have to crop that. So you go to crop and we take out constant proportions because we don't want to keep the 16 by 9 proportions. So we get like that. This is the beauty. This is the beauty of Movavi Video Editor. I like it because everything is so simple and user friendly. You can see now it is cropped. That's it. Now I double click on the footage and I move the footage on the background in the position I want to be. The example, I want to be just over here, let's say. Yeah, okay, I'll leave like that. Now, as you can see over here, the table is kind of not straight. So I have to straighten up, then I have to move the angle. And the angle is just over here. I think 1% is enough. That's it. So, I am a little bit too big. Double click again on the footage and you can make yourself smaller. Just like that. That's it. Now, as you can see over here, is that easy to do the chroma keying? Now, it is very, very important not to forget that you cannot wear anything green. Or anything uh, if, if something is in this footage in this footage is something is green color that color will be also affected with the chroma king so you have to wear shirts or whatever t-shirts which doesn't have any green color in it or if you use green color in your in your um, in your clothes then you must uh, use a different background you must use some uh, light I don't know uh, blue sometimes they use blue color you know light blue or dark blue color in, mostly light blue color you can you can do uh, different colors as well and the colors are, are it's, it's just simple you know like when you go to chroma key over here you just hit this and then the when you take the sample from here which color it is that color will be affected you know so uh, it is that simple it doesn't uh, it doesn't really need a very big knowledge i would say it needs experience so you have to experience you do a few footages or if you don't have footage with uh, with green screen you can download from the from the internet you know green screen footage and just experiment with it and you will see that um, it is very simple and it is very easy to do now in the same time i have to emphasize this very very important that the green screen will be um, uh, lightened appropriately so if uh, if the green screen has not enough light the footage will be uh, very noisy and it won't be as clean as this one now when when you have enough light on the green screen on the back the footage will be great so it is important to put some extra light on the back you know not on yourself on the back on the green screen so the green screen is uh, is, is um, has plenty of light on it you know so uh, i hope that this video was helpful to you guys and i hope that you liked it and uh, i will make another video about pan and zoom and how to do zooming and how to do panning you know in in the movavi video editor 
and uh, you will see that if you download this uh, little software you know and you try you will see that it is it's a real joy to use it is so simple and it's so self-explanatory you know that it's it's um it's i, I would say uh, anybody can use it you know who has a little bit of knowledge about video you can use it no problem at all now uh, i hope that this video was helpful to you guys and i hope that you liked it if you liked it please like and subscribe and share my videos and uh, i hope that uh, you learned something from this video because my goal it was you know to show you some simple and uh, in the same time very effective program you know and uh, this is what i use and i think i will make a few more videos if you are interested please leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos about this program and i will make a few more videos then about this how to edit how to do this how to do that but in the same time like i said it is very self-explanatory so if you get in the program you know and if you have a little bit of uh, knowledge in video editing you will figure out yourself in five minutes and it is very very quick and very effective so i hope that uh, you will have a nice day and uh, i'll see you in the next one take care guys